Well, welcome once again to Beer Guys TV. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, I don't know. If you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. Again, welcome to Beer Guys TV. Greg, Shane, Brent, and Chad here with you. And uh, and again, we're doing our new format where we're doing the verses. One, uh, same style of beers, one versus the other. We all vote on it and uh, we uh, form our opinion of which one that we would choose if we were to purchase So. Yours may or may not be the same, yeah. but we'll give you some some uh, our feedback on these uh, beers, and you can take it from there. So, uh, Shane, what do you uh, what you bring to the party tonight? Well, I thought we'd do it uh, versus with an IPA. Oh, and uh, Greg, I, I I have a question. Yeah, you have a beer too. I, I have a question. What did you bring? I brought a Cinder Dick. Um, I, I have like 63 questions. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, I think, uh, oh, oh, that's why he's a producer, folks. Cinder you dick. You do have a cinder dick. <laughs> I don't like to brag, but it's, uh, it's, it's from uh, Roundhouse Brewing out of Brainerd, Minnesota. Cinder dick is an IPA, just so you know. Okay. I thought you were being bold. <laughs> That thing looks like a pounder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, it, yeah. Cinder Dick is actually the uh, reference Roundhouse Brewing. Of course, everything is uh, train oriented there at, at the brewery. And then uh, Cinder Dick was a uh, uh, police officer that, that roamed the, the yard, kind of keeping things secure at, at the uh, at the Roundhouse and uh, all that. So, and, and the, no, it makes more sense. It does. Cinder Dick. There you go. And it's so, a, I'm sorry, IPA that it comes oh, in. Oh, yeah. Comes in at uh, 76 IBU, so it might be a little little bite there, little and 5.8 uh, on the alcohol, on the ABV. So, uh, question 63 is an IPA also by Brass Foundry Brewing in Long Lake, Minnesota. The ABV on this one is 6.2, so a little bit higher than the Cinder Dick. Uh, it's, it's what? 6.2. 6.2. Oh. IBU is 65. So a little bit less on the IBU, a little bit more on yeah. the... Uh, on the <laughs> yeah. our studio audience is helping us out tonight. Yeah. Is this good? He's, 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 <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they have the laugh track going. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, question 63 is a complex IPA that's as mysterious as its name. Mm. We made this for you. It's yours. Enjoy. Uh, that's pretty lame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, that was like, well, Okay, well, it's mysterious, and so we're supposed yeah, to guess. But yeah, you figure it out on your own. Drink it and shut up. That's maybe why it's called Question 63. Mm. I could give you the whole deal on the cinder dick here. Yeah, I, give, I give us the deal on your cinder dick. Uh, <laughs> help me. Uh, a cinder dick was a railroad policeman. See, I got that right. Oh, yeah. Uh, cinder dick spent their days walking the cinders of the rail yard. Looking for thieves, trying to break into boxcars, investigating wrecks for wrongdoing, or riding the trains, guarding valuable freight. Detective. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, a hard, bitter job that deserves a bitter beer. So there you go. There's your high IBU. Uh, oh, yeah. And um, uh, Cinder Dick IPA is brewed with pale and dark crystal malts for balance with Columbus, Northern Brewer, Cascade, and Mosaic hops for a floral and citrus aroma. And a strong, clean finish. Again, 5.8 on the ABV, but um, 76 IBUs and 9 SRM. So that's a little bit more descriptive than the question. <laughs> that it is. Uh, I, I, yeah, well, see, I brought a beer that I could actually talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's Damn. pit my question 63 against your cinder dick and see what comes out <laughs> on top. <laughs> Who knows? It's a big question mark. <laughs> All right, so we uh, crack out. We're going to start off with this one? Yeah, we can oh. start out with that one. Okay. Brenton, we'll uh, have you pour it a little These bit. These are a little bit bigger cans than the bottles. We'll, we'll uh, Ooh, let her open up and breathe a little. Lift huh? that up a little bit. I'll do the same. There you go. There, Mr. There Producer Man. You know what? I'll just do this. There you go. And... Chad, yeah. Now, Chad, 
Yo, yeah. Can we keep you awake down there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Brent, there's a little bit left in there for you. Um, All right. I'll top it off. When you first started with beer, guys, you weren't big into some of these IPAs. I was and not big stuff. at all. No, but now anyway. look at you. you kind of an IPA. He's both now up. Come I grew some, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and you got things <laughs> in your beard again. Yeah, yeah. You must, they must have went over well. because Yeah, same ones from last week. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> same leftovers. <laughs> yeah, well, good. They look good. Uh, <laughs> very shiny. Yeah. I hope so. I like shiny My objects. head or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> it's a question mark. <laughs> no, this uh, is a cinder dick. Oh, yeah. I, got, psh, I can't. Yeah. Hard to keep it straight. <laughs> so we need to get a hold of the question. Crack that open. Mm, yeah, well, we could... I'm going to palletize All right. my we, we, we could do palettes that. with this. We could do that. We're doing the head-to-head, head, right? Yeah. Right, right. Head Versus? Right. Oh, well, see, you're on top of things here. You're, you're. And with an IPA, you might want to do it a little bit more same time-ish because one could overpower the other one after you have two or three sips. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Mm. It's a regular... Uh, we'll start down here. Yeah, down yonder, <laughs> as they say one. down south. They're both, uh, I see hazy on both. You got a little, a little bit, bit of cloudiness to them, huh? Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Mm. Make sure you get some there, Brenton. Looks there like, you yeah. go. Well, and it, this again is a new format. You've always had the bar and doing our uh, uh, try it by it, skip it deal, but this is kind of fun. And uh, Shane wanted to change it up for 2021. And by golly, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Still in Glencoe, Minnesota at our. Our uh, studio here, and thanks to KNL Cabinets for hosting us. Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV. That will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. All right, so we got Cinder Dick and question 63, right? Yep. Yeah, they're kind of similar looking, really. Probably, yeah. What was the 60-second question? You'll, you'll never know. It didn't know. make it. <laughs> <laughs> they are very different, aren't they? Pretty cloudy on the uh, question. They, they very close in the color. Yeah. It's an apricot, maybe? Yeah, kind of apricotish looking. Yeah. Hey, that's a good yeah. description there. Shit. Apricot, yeah. How about you? Yeah, definitely got some bite on the uh, fender dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just... I just kind of slipped up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Kind of catches you by surprise. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> ouch. <laughs> wow, this is going to be a, a, a tough call as well. What's in there? Hmm. Boy, they both have a lot of uh, a lot of um, tartness or substance. what do you want to say? Uh, substance. No well, substance, but bitterness on the on the back end. I think. Hmm. Wow. So, how do you hmm. want to start this one, there, Mr. Producer Man? Well, do you have any discussion? Well, I was gonna say, yeah. Uh, you know, what do you think? Are they both? Uh, like I say, they both. Uh, they both have a, a kind of a similar. Similar taste to me. They 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 do have a similar taste, but there there are some differences. There are subtle, subtle. The bitterness is the bitterness is that a word? That's a beer guy's term. <laughs> it's like the Simpsons. We make up words too. Yeah, right? that's right. We have our own library, our, our library dictionary. Mm. Hmm. We have our own cinder dictionary. Yeah. Ah, wah. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Shane Zeppelin appearing at a comedy lounge near you. Well, near a brewery. The Eagles <laughs> Eagles Lounge. Eagles Lounge? Yeah, Eagles. Eagles Nest. Eagles Nest. Something like that. Sure. Um, I get a little more sweetness on the um, So we're starting off with Shane. 
Well, we're just kind we're of just dis- doing yeah. just some discussion. Oh, yeah. what, what, what's your thought? It's open discussion. Yeah, it's, it's, it's open, open format. Oh, it's open yeah. format. So it's we alphabetical just order, isn't it? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last names are first. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> what? It's question 63 you got going on there. Yeah, there's like a kind of a musky aftertaste. Like the fish? No, like... <laughs> no, could be. <laughs> kind of... Um, <laughs> you, would have, you would have expected that from the cinder dick, but... Um, oh, boy. There's... Yeah, there's something... I get an odd finish on this. Yeah. Um, huh. <laughs> uh, that's a safe way out. Um, yeah, it's a... It's, it, there's something... It's a, it's a floral aroma. Mm-hmm. The aroma. Yeah. I think the aroma on this one's great. <laughs> Is what? The the aroma is great on that. One. Yeah, it's great. It's it's more flower. It's it's not a. But there's citrus. something about the finish, on that that does. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, on the nose, I like this one better. No, the IBUs on uh, Cinder Dick is higher than. Little question, bit. right? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, not by a lot. This one's uh, 76. This one's uh, 65. Okay. So, yeah, it's a, it, you, you can kind of tell a little You bit. can tell, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's an uh, interesting pairing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And, and uh, the question 63 is made by Brass, uh, Brass Foundry. Yep. And that's out of, out of Lo- Long Lake. Long Lake, Minnesota. Mm-hmm. The Cinder Dick is from Roundhouse Brewing out of Brainerd, Minnesota, up north there. Yeah. Way up, up north, north, you know. Up, up north there. Up north there. This time of year, she's a little chilly. Chilly. <laughs> chilly here. It's even chillier up there, by golly. It's just south of the Bermidji up there. Oh, yeah, south of Bermidji up yeah. in that uh, Paul Bunyan land oh, up there. Yeah, yeah you betcha. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that something, huh? The home of 10,000 lakes there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then some. Well, what do you think? Ready to duke it out, see how the vote goes? Again, This one's still fighting. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know it's, which way to go. With it. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah there's, there's a quarrel going on here. Mm. Um, it does taste a little muscalage. <laughs> I didn't, and I didn't mean, I should have waited, because I didn't want to color anybody else's opinion on that either. But it, there's something, I don't know. I, it's, it's, it's an odd pairing. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even call it a pairing. It's an odd versus. It is, but they're on the same plane. I mean, it, it, it's, it's hard to choose two beers that are very similar because there are so many nuances with, with, the, with, with well, really all the beers nowadays. Uh, they'll craft hmm. beers the, the, from porters to stouts to brown ales to IPAs and pale hmm. ales, whatever. So. Well, Brent, you want to start at this? You want to kind of give us your uh, well, one-two punch? Yeah, what's your vote going to be? How's it going to go, folks? Oh, Brent Anderson, home brewer too, by the way. I know. <laughs> I'm due to do some of that. Are you? I am. Well, um, maybe we can do a versus on two of your beers. Well, I will right. say. Boy. I definitely like the aroma out of the glass for the question sixty. Three, three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not so much the flavor. Yeah. So, that being said, for me, I would choose the Cinder Dick over would you? the over the uh, question sixty three. So your vote is cast. Yes. Uh, and if we're gonna go so far as to give a little, I wouldn't buy either one. No. <laughs> so two skip it right there. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Are we just gonna work down the line, or what do you got in mind? Well, here? yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, you I go mean, next. And um, give us your opine. Oh, my opine. <laughs> yes. So you voted for Cinder Dick. If you yeah. had to place, yeah. if you had to cast a vote, that's the way you would go. Right. I, I too, it, it. I find the uh, the the aftertaste is kind of. I don't. I don't care for it. Uh, Re- on the cinder dick or on the really, really question. both of them. <laughs> I, I I understand what I, you're saying. I, it's not that they're bad beer, and they're probably really good fresh off the tap. I mean, you know, that always always changes everything. But when they've been in the canned or bottled, it changes uh, the the complexion just a little bit. But uh, for the for for the for the cinder, I'm kind of with you. The aroma is much more pleasant mm-hmm. off, the, uh, off the question sixty three. Um, but uh, it, I I think if I had to choose one, if I was forced to place my vote, which I am. Um, I, I, I'm, question sixty-three would probably get my vote. Okay, but so it's, it's by a narrow margin and, and one, yeah. one to one. 
and, uh -huh. and in reality, I'm kind of like you. I probably would. There's other IPA choices. Yes. I would go yeah. For, so. Yeah. No, not no offense to the breweries or anything. It just uh, they don't. Uh, I, I just don't care for them that much. So that's just me. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 tied so far. We're tied so far. So it's up, Chad, to, you, you it's up to the Zeppelin boys. Yeah, I can go next. All right. All right, Chad. Shiny beard. So Chad. I'll mirror Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll mirror Chad, both Chad your opinions. Okay, yeah. Um aroma wise and everything. Um I will lean more toward the question sixty three. Now in the past I've been kind of an IPA fan. But I like my IPAs a little bit uh more on the crisp lighter side mm -hmm. i'm not much to enjoy or want to have the higher ibus um so without without being balanced with right yeah. right so it's it's either one of these is something i personally would not uh go out and purchase just because i like my lighter ipas mm -hmm. some people like them yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, more yeah. bitter I, I kind of more of a citra IPA i like the citra yeah, yeah the lighter yeah. you know type stuff so but if i were to choose one or the other, um, it, it would definitely be the uh, question 63, and okay. for no real big right. reason. Just, just, a, just yeah, uh, you yeah, know. If you, had to, if you had to choose. If I had to choose, so. She, and then uh, my, my, my daughter's like that. She's, they, they can't be uh, bitter enough. I'm like, hey, oh. good for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But hey, you know, if you like it, you like it. That's, that's yep. all. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. You're, it's, it's subjective, so. All right, Shane. Well, it's uh, two, two to one. Two to one. Uh, question sixty-three, leading the votes leading so far. Leading votes. So this one here, there's no knockout punches. No, nope, no, mm -hmm. no. You're right. There's, it's. I mean, it's down to the. It's timed. It's yeah, yeah. Down to the they, they, bell, they, right? Yeah, it's a, a split decision. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like a multi IPA. This okay, Cinder Dick to me has a little bit more body to it mm -hmm. than question sixty-three. Um. The aroma in question 63, I like better. Yeah, yeah, that the, was the general consensus. Yeah, yeah. Cindric's Sindri a little soft. Yep. And I mean, it's it's. And they both floral, have a, both have kind of a dry mouthfeel, I think. Yeah. yeah. And I think if you go up by overall experience, I mean, look at the lacing on those. Actually, they're both about equal. Yeah. Although Cindric's to me has a a, yeah, a little bit sweet, there, sweeter. Yeah. Sweetness. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right. Sweeter sweetness. <laughs> Sweeter sweetness. Not just any sweetness. I, I would edge towards que question sixty three and and ever so slightly. Yep. yep. Um, it's got that kind of a weird aftertaste, but I mean, after having some of this, it's like yeah, we get used to it. It's like that's not actually not that bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but horrible. Yeah, right. 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 And it, it, yeah. And but I, I guess I would agree with. Uh, all three of you that is this something I would keep on, on you know in the fridge mm -hmm. uh, probably not I, I would choose other styles yeah. of IPA than these and, and we're a little spoiled because we try a lot of we beers, try a lot and, of them uh, and we, we, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean it's not that they're horrible beers it's just that they're kind of yeah meh yeah yeah you know, but and, and that, between I, the two like I still got I'm still dealing with that aftertaste now I don't like that yeah. yeah. So well, then it's probably a, a good thing we did our stout show prior to the. Yeah. Show. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although it is a winter in Minnesota, I like I we could do another stout show. I'd feel. We be could okay do another yeah, stout, yeah. stout show. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't done the stout. We did the porter. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. True. See, true. somebody's yeah. keeping us in line here. Porter. The porter our studio audience show. let now us down. Now you got me <laughs> thinking about <laughs> stouts. <laughs> hey. Hey. After as much as we pay that guy. <laughs> when in doubt, get the stout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, three to one, basically. The, it's three the, to one. The vote is in, and the, when the winner is, uh, question 63 from Brass yeah. Foundry out of Long Lake, Minnesota. So, I would say that's, uh, that's fair. Fair enough. All right. Well, All right. that's going to, there you go. Check it out for yourself. Let us know what you think. Yeah. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Beer Guys TV from Glencoe, Minnesota with. Brett, Shane, Chad, myself, Greg, and until next time, beers to you. Oh, you double glass. Leave it to Chad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess I guess I guess. <laughs> Beer Guys TV reminds you to drink responsibly. Never drink and drive and always use a DD. Be sure to expand your beer list by trying something different. Remember to check out BeerGuysTV.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. 
Thanks for listening to this Beer Guys TV podcast. Sponsor messages you hear on our podcast are paid endorsements unless otherwise stated. These messages help us bring Beer Guys TV to you. We encourage you to support our sponsors so that we may continue to provide quality entertainment and information. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at BeerGuysTV at gmail.com. You done playing around? You just made me look at your cinder dick. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right in my lap, too. Hey, check this bad boy out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can't get that out of my... Oh, boy. <laughs> That's etched. <laughs> Gotta purge the history. <laughs> wow. Uh. All right. <laughs>